What's going on Julia Addiction fans? Uh, today we are having a new tutorial about how do we install the script HogB on JDA Vive. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'll just go into Google. Before that, I'm going to show you how to search it. You just go to Google and again, like search script HogB for JDA Vive. And as you can see, we'll be going to jda5mods.com. So I'll click that. And we use the script hog v actually to enable using different mods on the game. Without the script hog v, you can't use different mods, for example, like menu and other uh, important mods that you need them. And we use the native trainer for enabling uh, weather change and stuff like that. All right, so let's go and go ahead and just download this one. And it's pretty small size, you know, you don't worry about anything. So here's my file, drag it to the desktop, yeah. I just done this before, but I'm doing it again for tutorial purposes, so you guys having an idea, right? All right, so now we have this pen folder. Actually, we are not using the ESI, which is for the native trainer. We'll be just using those three files, all the LL files, right? So now to find the game uh, track, usually I put it on... Uh, you just go to your this PC and go to your uh, two discs I'm using the D because it has a larger area for me this is where they put the game right and there we go if you're using Steam you just go ahead to the game and click on uh, game uh, file location hit this and then you find the uh, game track right so here is my main file right and what I'm gonna be doing is going to the unzipped file uh, this one and I'll be moving just inside the pen folder. Uh, I move those three uh, Files just to the game track, which is the main folder, right? I'll, I'll just moving those one first replace. Yes And then this one as well Then part eight eight point DLL. Yeah, there we go Perfect. Now we're done. Now your script hog B is 100% installed. You can go ahead now and start using whatever mods and installing your mods easily, right? Uh, a lot of you guys been asking me as well about uh, the, what they call it, Chuck Spawner in the coming tutorial. Uh, because, you know, the thing about Chuck Spawner is that it has so much, so much complexities. So that we are uh, actually, like, I'll be taking, like, I'll be making a whole full tutorial because it's an online mod right it's not an offline one right and uh, also about open iv it's a very important uh, add-on that we need to add to the game so within next videos as well be we'll be telling you about that so now we're finished with the script hog v once we start launching the game it will be launched normally and you just start playing and adding your mods like nothing is gonna happen everything is just moving smoothly right all right, so yeah, so about the native trainer, I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna work on this now. We'll be uh, working on it uh, next uh, in the coming videos because this has something to do about whether it changes and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your kindness. I appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, if you just need anything, tell me in the comments. I'll be there and I'll be putting my email. So if someone would like to ask me about anything, you just ask me in the comments and I'm going to reply you. Sometimes I'm just becoming busy because, you know, for gaming, you need a lot of focus and you need too much work. And that's it. Thank you very much. See you guys.